What's up, guys? So, a lot of people asking, backcountry team training, equipment needs. What if you don't have uh, a fully stocked home gym or you don't have access to uh, a training center or gym that has all the bells and whistles? That's, that's fine, all right? You're still going to be able to be successful with the training uh, because the programs are set up in such a way that we provide variations. We, we give people options for minimal gear or if you've got everything, great. Uh, but if you don't, you can still be successful uh, and we, we make that very uh, available to you. So here I am in my own garage. I know a lot of people are training from home and that's awesome. Uh, I don't have all the bells and whistles here that I do at the gym, uh, but I have everything that I need. All right. Uh, and I want to show you guys that now because really these are going to be the essentials that you'll need for uh, those backcountry team training programs uh, that we have available. So first off, hanging from the ceiling here is a suspension trainer. Okay. So these are just suspension straps that I'm able to lean back on. Things like rows, presses. You can do uh, lower body movements as well. Now this is hooked to a pull-up bar. Having some type of pull-up bar is very helpful. If you don't have it, no big deal. You can attach these to a doorway or find some other sturdy anchor to set them up on. Uh, but these are really helpful to have and we do recommend them. Uh, number two, I guess sandbags, right? It's good to have uh, different, different weights from like for men, we typically advise that you have like a 40 pounder, a 50, 60, and maybe an 80. These are not super expensive. Uh, you can fill them with sand. If you ever go on vacation, you take them empty with you. You know, if you go to a beach, you fill them up. You can train anywhere. Uh, I also put those sandbags in my pack. So when I'm doing ruck based training, which all of these backcountry programs involve rucking and pack based training. Uh, you can use those bags to then um, modify your training loads uh, in your pack. So having the sandbags, having pack, uh, those are necessities, right? It doesn't have to be super fancy pack, but it has to be something uh, that you can load up with that maybe has an internal frame and is sturdy enough to handle those loads. From there, I've got a sturdy cooler that works well for doing step-ups, for doing raised foot split squats. Uh, it's got to be sturdy enough that it can support your body weight as well as maybe if you've got a pack on or you're holding on to a sandbag or dumbbells that it can support that as well. From there, dumbbells. Uh, at home, I don't have a whole lot. I've got, uh, I got some 20s here. I got some smaller ones down there. Uh, you don't have to have a ton of different dumbbells or kettlebells. Because you can, mod, like when it comes to doing something like a, uh, like maybe a, a split squat, right? So if, I'm, if I've got 40 pounds in my hand here and I'm doing my split squats or my lunges and that's not enough, well, then I can take my pack, right? Put that on my back and I just made that, a, you know, I really increased the load. I made that a more intense movement. Uh, and I'm also doing that uh, in such a way that is scalable, right? Because you got the pack. Uh, on that note, having some type of weight vest is helpful. It's not a necessity, but here I've got a lighter weight. That's a 20 uh, weight vest. That works really well for a lot of the, the uh, strength movements that we're doing, as well as our lighter weight rucks. From there, sandbags, dumbbells, or you know any type of handheld uh, weight. You know, if It doesn't have to be dumbbells. You've got kettlebells. There's some really cool uh, dumbbell options out there now uh, that are blocks where you can interchange, uh, go from five pounds all the way up to 60 pounds with one set, all right? Just a little turn of a dial and that works really slick. Those are gonna be a little bit more money. Um, here, I've got continuous loop bands. So all that means is that it's one big loop and I've got a couple different sizes. These aren't super expensive. They're gonna last quite a while. Uh, and it gives you options for different uh, levels of resistance so that you can increase the intensity uh, based on your own strength. Uh, and you can also add them together. So if I've got a three quarter inch and I add a half inch to it, uh, now I'm at a one inch 
and that gives me a lot of options there. So bands, we highly recommend that you have those. Other than that, the one thing that I don't have here right now, I'm sure it's here somewhere, is mini bands. These are about two bucks. You can find them online. Uh, we have links to all this stuff as well. Uh, other than that, that's it. And it's really not super expensive. It's not going to break the bank. You're going to spend probably, um, probably a lot more on ammo and arrows uh, this year and all the other gear. Uh, but remember that this gear right here, the body, the mind, and all the training that you do to help fortify those pieces of equipment, right? You're going to use those, um, and those are going to be more more important than any other piece of equipment you purchase this year, okay? Or for any year for that matter, every year. So there you go, guys. There's minimal gear needs uh, so that you can get started on any of our backcountry team programs.